Hey y'all, this is Zach from Mills Under Pressure. All right, tonight I'm cooking my all-time favorite food, a chicken and sausage gumbo. Um, I've been kind of hesitating uh, making this in Instant Pot because there's so many different, you know, family variations in, in, in gumbo. So, uh, but I'm gonna tonight show you how we make it in my family. Um, I've got about a pound and a half of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Uh, traditional sausage you use in gumbo is andouille. Um, I couldn't find any andouille today, but I've got Kaneka. Cajun sausage, smoked uh, sausage, and the connected plant's about 75 miles from my front door. So I'm using I'm using that. You got your Trinity, white onion, bell pepper. I've got two stalks of celery, and I'm gonna use about four cloves of garlic. Uh, chicken stock, and there's not a lot of seasonings in gumbo. Um, I've got some, you know, use your favorite uh, Cajun or Creole season. I've got bay leaves and thyme, and the most important ingredient in gumbo is the roux. Um, the Instant Pot is actually really good at making a roux, but only to about a, a peanut butter color. Um, so I've got this this jar of pre-made roux. This is Carrie's brand. It's from Louisiana, um, and a lot of a lot of people make their own roux and store it. In fact, a lot of restaurants uh, make you know roux days ahead of time and, and store it and use it. So again, this is a, I'm using Instant Pot as a shortcut, and this is going to be my my other shortcut. This pre-made pre-made roux. So I'm gonna get to uh, dicing up my vegetables and cutting up my, my sausage, and then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna brown our brown our chicken. So we'll be back. So I took my chicken thighs out. Again, these are boneless, skinless chicken thighs, and I dusted both sides of them with with Slappy Mama. You know, use whatever you know Creole Cajun seasoning you like. All right, so now I've got some flour. And that flour mixed with a couple tablespoons of oil I'm gonna put in here, it just adds another you know level of flavor to this. That's that's what gumbo is all about, it's just you know adding those levels of flavor. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip each of these thighs in this flour, and I'm gonna turn my saute function on. Put a couple tablespoons in the instant pot, and I'm gonna brown them about five minutes per side. So let me go ahead and get all these floured up, and we'll go from there. See you in a minute. All right, so I browned my chicken. About five minutes per side. It's got that good crust on it. It's going to get a good level of flavor to my gumbo. I'm going to turn the saute function off. I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to shred that while my, my vegetables are sauteing. So I'm going to turn my saute function back on. And I've already cut up my sausage. That's going to go down there in that good old chicken, chicken grease. I'm going to put my vegetables in there too. I'm not going to have my garlic right now. I'm going to wait. So. I'm going to go ahead and get that sautéing for about probably 10 minutes, and we'll be back. Alright, so I sautéed my sausages and my vegetables down for about 10 minutes. Nine minutes into that, I put in my garlic and I sautéed that for about a minute, and I turned my, the sauté function off. Alright, go ahead and add in your four cups of chicken stock. Get that stirred in. All right, I've got a half a cup of this Carrie's dark roux. Um, it's got to be dark. Dark chocolate is, is what you need for, for gumbo. So I'm going to go ahead and get that in. Kind of mix that in a little bit to break it down. This is what adds you real flavor to a gumbo. It's just, this dark chocolate roux. Okay. I've got that mixed in good. Um, and I've got the, you know, the, few, the few spices, you're going to add two bay leaves, and I've got a teaspoon of thyme and a half a teaspoon of your, whatever your favorite um, Creole or Cajun season is, you know mine, Slappy Mama. So put that in there. Alright, and that's it. I'm going to take the top, set it to the seal position. Oop. Almost forgot. One of the most important pieces. <laughs> Is my shredded chicken. <laughs> Can't have a chicken sausage gumbo without the chicken. Might need that. So, all right, that's in there. And while this is cooking, we're going to make a rice. All right, set to the seal position. Come down here. I'm going to hit the manual button or pressure cook button, whatever's on your on yours, and I'm going to cook it for 15 minutes. All right. We'll Alright, so we did 15 minutes under pressure and then I did a quick release. In the meantime, I cooked some white rice 
And I'm gonna tell you, this is some good gumbo. This is a traditional sausage and chicken gumbo. Um, and we're gonna get eaten, because I can't stand looking at it. This is my absolute favorite meal. So, Zach Meals Under Pressure. Uh, if you like this video, we've got a YouTube channel called Meals Under Pressure and also a Facebook group page if you wanna like and follow us. So, we'll see y'all next time.